over magazines and all stuff like that. Was it a policy decision with the band early on that you would take all the publicity and all that kind of stuff? Well, we kind of realised early on that it would actually be inevitable. Do you? It isn't even a female thing. It just happens to all lead singers, but maybe more because of the nature of my personality. I don't know, yeah. You, do, you really don't think it's a female thing? Like, if you were a fat geezer with a beard singing in front of a Transvision van, would it make any difference, do you think? Well, if the fat geezer with a beard was really stunning and charismatic, <laughs> then probably it would be all right. Do you, I read somewhere that you, th you say you're kind of like a role model for young girl people. Is that right? Did I read the wrong thing? Well, I never set out to be a role model, but if people choose to put that position on me, then I hope that the things I say are positive, especially for women, being a woman. Yeah. Then, but it's not something that I fundamentally go about, that I contrive. It, it's just happened. You know, anybody that gets famous, Pete, their fans are going to listen to what they're saying, and you may as well say something constructive. Are you comfortable with that kind of position thrust upon you? Well, I don't take it on as a responsibility. I just think, as long as I'm honest with myself, then everybody else can choose whether they want to believe me or not or follow me or not. It's me that has to sleep at night. So that's the only guideline. What's the, what's the situation you find yourself... You, know, you get asked a lot at the time about your sexuality and about you and about what you think and all that. As a musician, does that annoy you? It's a shame, uh, and it really is unique to the UK, because when you move over to Europe, and maybe now the Channel Tunnel's built, we'll learn something, but when you move over to Europe and the rest of the world, that sure, you're a personality, but first and foremost is the fact that you make music. And so always I struggle to talk about that. But it's, you know, the nature of the tabloid press. It doesn't matter if you're Bob Dylan, you know, they're going to still ask you, what's your sex life like? Yes, indeed. And we won't be asking you that tonight, but we will be asking Dave Fanning what's next. Yes, indeed. Thank you very much, Wendy, Craig. Well, actually, Wendy and Craig, in fact. Yeah, Wendy and Craig will do just fine. Okay, let me see. It's now time for some exclusive acoustic music, and this is from probably my favourite American band of the last ten years, and that's R.E.M.